Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Supergeek and today we'll be taking a quick look at all the tips and tricks of the new Realme UI based on Android 10 on the latest Realme X50 Pro. Stay tuned. The first trick is to disable the Smart Assistant from the home screen. It's a really annoying page on the home screen and you can disable it from settings smart services and disable smart assistant toggle and smart assistant will be disabled from your home screen the second one is to disable these hot apps and hot games shortcut on your app drawer so to remove these all you have to do is tap and hold on these tap on settings and disable the hot apps and hot games toggle and it will be removed from your app drawer the next trick is to change the home screen mode. All you have to do is tap and hold the home screen, tap on settings, go to home screen mode and choose one of these three available settings. In standard mode, you will get that MIUI kind of UI on your home screen. In drawer mode, you will get an app drawer which will keep all your installed apps. In the simple mode, you will get a more simple screen layout with larger icons. So if you want the drawer mode, you will select the drawer mode and tap apply. So while we're in the home screen customization page, I'm going to tell you about a couple more tips in the same page. So if you scroll down, you will see this swipe down on home screen settings. So what this does is it lets you swipe down on the home screen to bring up the notification center instead of the global search, which is a really nice and handy shortcut. So just tap on that and select the notification center instead of global search. If you go even further below, uh, you will see this set icon style page where you can set your icon style you can select from the presets and more customization settings are available so you can change the way you want to look in your home screen if you go further below you'll see this lock screen magazine setting at the very bottom so what this does is it will show you different wallpapers on your lock screen every time you lock and unlock your phone so if you want to enable this feature you can enable it and it will update wallpapers from your Wi-Fi or you can enable this update using mobile data feature oh, so it will update the wallpapers using your mobile data as well the Realme UI comes with a focus mode which is just like the Zen mode from Oxygen OS all you have to do is just pull down the notification drawer tap on modes and select focus mode from there and you can choose the duration of the focus mode and the sound for the focus mode and the background as well once you selected it just tap on start and the focus mode will start uh, playing that sound which you've just chosen and unlike the zen mode you can pause this mode and exit is as well anytime you want so android 10 comes with this dark mode features to darken the user interface so you can use it in the dark environment without blasting your eyes with a lot of light so all you have to do is just pull down the notification drawer and tap on dark mode to enable the dark mode but if you want to go into the settings just tap and hold the dark mode toggle and you will enter the settings menu you can also force the dark mode on third party applications uh, it's in beta mode so it might show you some glitches so all you can do is just select the apps from the list where you want to force the dark mode and those apps will start showing the dark mode despite the fact that it doesn't support the dark mode the realme ui comes with a cache cleaner built right in so to toggle that all you have to do is just pull down the notification drawer tap on clean storage option and it will show you the amount of cache uh, stored on your phone just tap on clean button and it will clean the cache from your phone Realme UI comes with a floating calculator feature which is a really nice feature if you use calculator that much on your phone. So all you have to do is just bring down the notification drawer, tap on the calculator toggle and you will see a floating calculator on your home screen. You can toggle the transparency from this slider. You can also maximize the calculator from this button. Realme Share is a really nice feature from Realme to share files between Realme smartphones. 
to enable that all you have to do is just pull down the notification drawer and tap on realme share it will enable the bluetooth as well to find the nearby realme smartphones so once this option is enabled you can share your files using this feature uh, seamlessly with all the realme smartphones these were the realme ui tips and tricks which you might find useful for your realme x50 pro so that's it for now guys hope you like the video hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one